Hello, hello, it's Tash and Ro. Welcome to or welcome back to It's Saturday, your personal self-care pod where you can escape the work week and unwind with your two besties, no matter what day of the week it is, but for us, it's Saturday. some funky mics going on Woo-hoo. yeah we were purple. like let's switch it up some purple we both ended up wearing blacks so we're yeah. like let's get a pop of color up in the studio <laughs> along with our beverages which we haven't had in a long time cheers, cheers. romina made us some strong ass drink guys it's not even that strong there's only a shot in here but you know what it does mm. taste pretty it does is it like mango juice what is that? mango and orange juice mm. a little bit of tequila Guys, we've been uh-huh. unhealthy, so we've just been drinking like water and tea. Yeah. And we're both feeling good, so we're gonna have a beverage. We're gonna have a beverage. It's very on brand. We have so much to catch up on. Oh my god, we had a really fun, busy, busy weekend. weekend. Really busy. <laughs> February's been lit. Yeah, February's been like nonstop event after event. Yeah. But we're loving yeah, it's it. Fun. It's a way to make the winter just a little bit more bearable. Yeah. To be honest. So it was our friend Eric's 30th birthday. And so we went to a Suns game, but we didn't just. Did we go to a Suns game? We didn't just that? go to a Suns <laughs> game. Go to a Suns game. <laughs> Wait, did I watch any hockey at all? I don't personally. Think, I who didn't. was even playing? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I saw the ice. I don't think I saw. the I ice. I did not see the ice. No, I saw ice in my drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, we went to a Suns game, and if you saw on TikTok, if you follow us, and you would have seen we got a limo, a which Hummer limo <laughs> was lit. And now it makes me want to take a limo everywhere we go. <laughs> yeah. Like the boys had started doing that. The boys had already been to a few Suns games in limos. And at first it's like, that's kind of so extra. Like I don't really get it. But then take the limo for like 30 bucks, 40 bucks a person. Yeah. Or take an Uber. Like Uber and like even driving. Like let's say you're not uh, drinking that much. But yeah. you have to parking, pay for parking and gas, gas it's and far. traffic. This is just more fun. Yeah. This is riding in style. And it's just ETPs. Getting a limo, ETPs. We're adding that to the list. Yep. Um, highly recommend. We were able to connect to the Ox, play our music. We were able to bring like our booze inside, brought a bottle of champagne. If you saw us pop it inside, no, you didn't. <laughs> and it was really fun. Yeah, we definitely popped a few bottles of champagne in the limo and like one of them exploded. <laughs> All over in the, the limo. Sky. Sorry, but what was the guy's name? name? <laughs> it's literally Matt. Was like, Matt? Was it Matt? Steve? Matt? That's you, I thought. Maybe. I don't Matt. know. We told him that we could promote him on the pod if he gave us free limo yeah. right? <laughs> for life. <laughs> I was like, can you just drive us around? <laughs> yeah. But so no, that was, was super fun. fun. We went to the game, had a couple soda pops, and then we hit up Joey Lansdowne. We got a big ass table. Yeah. And uh, Vic also works there, and you saw yes. some of your coworkers because you work at Bert. So it was just yeah. nice to felt like we like knew a lot of people there and also like we were a group of like 20 people I felt yeah, like. yeah we hung out at fan deck mostly if you've never been to fan deck at a sense game you should definitely go and tip our friend Vic a lot of money because she makes really good drinks <laughs> yeah. but it just is like a, a big party vibe like I personally had never really done that before hanging out no. with our friend group <laughs> no me either yeah, and we I were saying even, that we I didn't were, even know it existed no we bought the, so we all bought like the cheapest ch- tickets that yeah. you can buy yeah. at Nose the sense game because we knew we weren't going to really watch it we were just like no. there to hang out with friends and yeah I would do it again. Yeah. I, I different. Thought, I thought I was going to watch some hockey, but I really, I didn't. I didn't even go to my seat. Like, I where was our seat? I don't even know where my seat was. We don't know. No we idea. 300s, maybe, probably. Yeah. No idea. Who knows? <laughs> but uh, no, it was really fun. And then Saturday, you Ooh. went, you had another birthday on I Saturday. had another birthday. It was our friend Barb's birthday. Another 30th. Everyone's taking the plunge. It's so exciting to have more people on <laughs> the 30 side of things. But um, for her birthday, she did a 90s theme party. Which is sick. Like, the 90s is such a good era. Um, I went, like, trying to um, emulate the vibes of Rachel Green from Friends. Love it. Love that. Which was really cool. A lot of people were wearing, like, a bunch of, like, baggier 90s swag. This guy literally spent, like, $100 at Value Village to buy a bunch of, like, props for his outfit. And it was so worth it. He bought a flip phone that worked. Dude, that was insane. He was, like, taking photos on the flip phone. We were phone. taking photos like, on the flip phone. You could text from the flip phone. It was so nostalgic. Like, I used to have the crazer where, like, you would, like, close it. And yeah. you would be able to see yourself and take a photo from the front. 
oh. and that was like you were living if you could do that Dude. that was like the first like real like selfie selfie where you could yes. see yourself on the crazer wow. or the razor whichever one you had yeah he literally in his fanny pack that he bought he had um pokemon cards he had a cd player he had Jurassic Park on VHS, like wow. literally killed the 90s theme. It was so fun. And she had a bunch of cute decor all around, like a boom box, like slinkies were every there, everywhere, all this old school, like snacks from the 90s, like Joe Louis, fruit roll-ups. They like, went hard and they, I love a good theme, but I feel like they went above and beyond with this theme. Oh my God, it was so, and it was so good. I didn't expect that. I'm glad I dressed up. I was like, oh, I'm just not even going to dress up. Like I was so tired. It was kind of last minute. Like we found out the theme, but I'm glad I did. Yeah, it looked really fun. They went hard. <laughs> and then, guys, that wasn't the end of the weekend. On oh. Sunday, we had a photo shoot. <gasps> we had a branding photo shoot. Yeah with sandra we're gonna link her like her information yes but she and i can't wait to see the photos we just got a sneak peek right before we (gasps) pressed record we got a sneak peek guys it's so cute all i'm gonna say is pj's pickles podcast podcast and pizza and pizza that was the vibe that was the vibe and we were a little bit nervous going into it because we had no idea what to expect we had met her once over facetime and we were just like we don't know what we're going for here like what is a branding what is it like we didn't know (laughs) what direction we were going through but man sandra showed up and she just was like okay ladies ladies we're gonna get on the floor you guys are gonna play some music we're gonna take a shot like let's go and we're like like, oh wow okay i don't know why i didn't think of music yeah i didn't think i wouldn't have thought of that she's like put some music on like have some fun like let's take a drink and we're like oh yeah okay and, and then we, we just like, got a little tipsy it? which was nice and yeah. we just like i don't know it was so on brand for us what we were doing was so on yeah. brand we, we were got a bunch pickles. of props yeah we would brainstorm <laughs> props we got pickles hubba bubba oh no wait that didn't actually work out very so, well so yeah we bought this thing of hubba bubba thinking <laughs> oh we were gonna God. like blow bubbles be and like sexy. be all cute mm. but literally we're like <laughs> chewing like <laughs> and then it no bubbles were forming and we were just like our jaws were hurting and yeah. she was she was like ladies you can do it. and we're like no we're next like we're yeah all, no we're, we're not doing this. that but um, it was really fun we had a couple different outfit changes and it was pretty exhausting yeah it was like three hours like i went home and i actually took a nap after yeah we had <laughs> yeah tired. three different outfits we had different places we were like in the kitchen upstairs so wait for those photos because i'm so excited to see yeah. them and if you are trying to you know make build your brand make your brand solidify it more like highly recommend doing this because it's gonna really just elevate the pod it is any brand that you have or business that you have no matter what you do like i think it's important to have like good representation of your brand so definitely worth the investment i think so too and it's also just reminded me of like also supporting locals like locals supporting locals Mm like she sandra reached out to us and like we connected and she's like in ottawa and we're in ottawa and honestly it just reminded me that we should all just be kind of utilizing like our kind of connections and like people our community our community and like leveraging that and like now now we have a friend that we yeah like, she's a, a friend of ours now and we can like she was like telling us about different events and kind of networking opportunities yeah. in ottawa and it's just like it's a nice feeling to kind of connect with people that 100 are in your community so yeah do that Get and on that. cold em- uh, like dming like sliding to people's dms like it works it works <laughs> we've got a lot of success that yeah, way and yeah. people have slid into our dms and we are super receptive to it so yeah. get sliding into get those sliding. DMs, yeah, get you never sliding. know what could happen <laughs> <laughs> okay those are okay. updates we only have one thing to be sorry for and it's me and i feel really strongly about this okay <gasps> and i hope you do too maybe far as will if you don't i'm sorry but why did subway get rid of the honey oat bread Okay, so I looked into this because I was like, I was trying to order Uber Eats oh the other God. night at, with Subway and it didn't have the option. And I was like, yeah. what's going on? So I Googled it. There's a whole forum talking about it. Apparently, it's not at every location. Some locations oh, still have it. Okay. But it depends on like if they were selling that bread there, which is kind of dumb. Why that specific bread? Like, why are yeah. you targeting our bread? Why are you targeting honey? Oh, what why honey? honey oh, like get rid of plain or like whole wheat. Do you, or so you, something. Do you used to get honey? Oh, is that your jam? I like honey. Oh, and I also like the Italian urban cheese. Yeah, that one's obviously Those two. so good. Those are my two like go tos. Okay, when I went to Subway for the first time in like over a year, a few weeks ago, which since then I've been like three times, I'm like full Subway <laughs> fan again. But I went there and I was like, oh, can I have honey oat? And she's like, we haven't had that for like over a year. And wow. she made me feel really bad about it. Like she's like, clearly you're not a Subway fan. I'm like, oh. No, we are. We are. We definitely are. I'm like, can you just uh, call can me? Can you call get my, my friend, meatball my ready, please? <laughs> <laughs> my meatball sub with extra pickles. Thank yeah, you. actually, a Subway DM does. Can you look? 
dog. <laughs> yeah, they actually did. So I'm sorry, <laughs> but I'm sorry about over sandwiches. No, but that's like devastating if they actually got it every. I yeah. I haven't been able to find it, but if like, you have a subway near you and it, tell us, because also get rid of like like whole wheat or some whole wheat shit. or like the so plain boring. one. Italian, yeah. not Italian white. So boring. <laughs> it is really boring. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so, that's all I'm sorry about. What the heck? Week, but, yeah, we don't have too yeah. much. Um, okay, t- <laughs> this is a funny topic. So I know you just went into a, like a '90s theme party. Yeah, I did. Um, there's this whole thing on TikTok right now where it's talking about things millennials grew up with that would send Gen Z into a coma. Oh my god! So I, I thought know. we could like chat about that because yes. I definitely thought of some. And then we can like okay. talk, to, t- talk to see if there's any other ones that you have. Okay, tell um, me. So first it was just like thinking about back to like scanners, like actually scanning documents instead oh of just God. like using your phone. Like now you can just like take a picture of something and it Scan a scans check, it. Like, scan a check. Mm-hmm. Before you scan actually have like these massive like scanners wow, that yeah. you'd have to like use. Like obviously scanners still exist, but you can scan everything with your phone now. Yeah, your like, phone you is literally, literally a scanner. Scan everything. Hundred percent. Um, MapQuest. Oh my god, do you people remember still Map use that? Like Quest? Matt. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, Richard, putting you on blast right now. Matt and Richard still uses MapQuest. Well, like he <laughs> like prints- he prints out directions. Guys, he's I- a boomer though. Okay, but I remember we would have to like we'd be like, oh, we have to go somewhere. We'd go type it out, print it out, like bring a little binder, like a little literally. Tank. My dad would be like, Put don't it in those lose special it. Special little like yeah. folders, be like, don't lose the directions. And, like yeah, God. and if you lose them, then you're screwed. You're screwed. Like if you no. lost one of the pages or the pages are out of order, like. You're yeah, so your dad doesn't do that anymore. No, 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 no. <laughs> hope not. He's a software engineer. He'd be like, "Oh my god, I know. I just need someone telling telling me where to go in like some sort of cool accent. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what I need. Oh not MapQuest. Yeah. Oh my, what else? Like, do payphones still exist? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. I haven't seen one in a really long time. They used to even have the payphones where you could like text from it. They had like the oh, keyboard. Yes, I yeah. do remember that. Yeah, honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, I remember when there was that black <coughs> there was that blackout period where like the internet yeah, wasn't working. The big and blackout. The big blackout, <laughs> and I was looking for a payphone and I couldn't find one. I don't think they exist anymore. I, I don't either. If you don't have a cell phone, like you're screwed. <laughs> Literally though, um, remember there like Rogers had their like top five thing was where you can like unlimited text and call only five people. Yeah. You have to like otherwise you have to like or pay, pay, as you go. pay as you go i was about to say that do you pay remember pay go. as you go pay as you go <gasps> or just like adding minutes on your phone i remember or like being, going sorry yeah, go yeah i remember being like i can't text you back because you're out of minutes literally, like, I literally can't text you back. or like just okay this is not that outdated but like going to blockbuster to rent a fucking vhs movie and if it's sold out like sorry you're not watching that movie tonight you have to find something else one. instead of literally opening up all of our streaming services and have everything but you know what it was kind of nice like having a sleepover with the girls and like that was part of like the experience is like okay guys get here and we're gonna go to blockbuster together and like pick yeah a movie it was together, super you fun know? like your like your friend's mom would take you guys because yeah. you're like 10 years old and you can't you'd go rent by like yourself. three or four movies yeah oh, oh my god. god what else um I was, this girl wrote that she would like i didn't have this but you would call the movie theater to get the show times and you'd have oh to like god. write them down yeah, or in the newspaper. Or in the newspaper. Yeah. Yeah, so Gen Z's would literally, they'll oh never know. Oh my God. The, I they think won't we know. literally were born in the most perfect time because we're like so appreciative of things that we have that we're still like young enough to like experience all of these good things. Like I feel like like boomers, like for example, like if you're still using MapQuest, like you're so <laughs> stuck in your ways yeah. and we're so adaptable as uh, millennials. Like we could literally go both ways and like we just have yeah. the best of both worlds. And we had like life without technology kind Thank of, you know, God. Like, like we had technology, but it wasn't that crazy. Whereas now we have it. So we yeah. had both, you know? And I just feel bad for like all these kids that like are growing up like with Instagram like off the bat and like they have like all these comparisons and I feel like there's so many like mental health issues like for young girls and probably young boys too like because like it's just so toxic social media so I'm glad I I didn't have Instagram until university thank god I find it weird when people open Instagrams for their babies I'm like, yeah. I'm like oh, I don't know. It's too, the baby is not like, no, I don't know. It's a baby. It's a baby. It's a baby. <laughs> yeah. Like at first I didn't get on the opposite end. Like I didn't always get when people would put like emojis over their baby's faces they when said. they're posting it. But now I'm kind of like, you know what? That's your baby. And you kind of don't want them on the internet. Because once it's on the internet, like it's there forever. Ever. And you don't know 
who's watching what or doing what and it's like do you yeah. really need to post your baby does your baby need an instagram i don't know yeah i said that for my dog and then i got a dog and i made an instagram i know Stark, so i don't know i like, know i made a talk I shit made a now but one. when i have a baby i don't know what the frick i'm gonna do maybe it'll be like a baby gram at that point where we all just add each other's babies <laughs> and like they only follow each other <laughs> yeah you have to have a baby to have it otherwise it's creepy oh my god um that is a really yeah interesting so topic yeah. if you guys think of any other ones let us know yeah let us know let that's us hilarious know. um this made me think of the other day because remember how you had mentioned a few episodes ago how twitter and Elon Musk was making people pay for the verification yep. check. So now Instagram is also making people pay for it. And Facebook, which I didn't even know Facebook had a verification. Facebook, people still use that? <laughs> people still use that. And you get a check mark on there. What? I don't know. Okay. But yeah, so they're following suit. And they're Instagram also- is weird. Like, ugh. These blue check marks, like being able to buy them is just so sketchy because it's like yeah. now anyone can buy it and also just gets rid of the whole concept as a yeah. whole. Like now anyone can have one. So I've seen people with only like, 2,000 followers have a check mark, which I don't get. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't know. I don't know what the qualifications are. Maybe one day we'll have one, though. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I wonder how much it is, like, per month. Yeah, I don't know. I forget. So it was, like, Twitter's probably around 20, 20 bucks or something, so maybe it's around if the same If you should do price. it on all three, like, that shit adds up. You're probably canceling Netflix or something <laughs> to make up for it. <laughs> oh, my Netflix got, like, I'm not, I don't have Netflix anymore. Okay, so apparently. We got an email being true. like, you can't share it, blah, blah, We blah. do because Matt's parents are on a family account, so we're part of the, uh, we're part of the family. Okay. Yeah, so your I need to get, parents need to do a family. Like a family account. account. So Hi guys, I know we're the only ones using yeah. the thing, but <laughs> please get a family account. Yeah, that's devastating. I saw a lot of people post that they got. It's just annoying. Because they probably lost so many people. They probably lost so many subscriptions like this. Probably. Honestly. Um, speaking of that, though, you wrote something about subtitles. So. Okay. So I just want to know, because <coughs> we watch everything with subtitles nowadays, really? I find. Do you do you watch stuff with subtitles? Or We're no? the opposite. We okay. hate subtitles. Yeah. Okay. But also, Matt is starting to put on blast, babe. Matt's a little bit dyslexic, so, like, the subtitles would probably just, like, <laughs> fuck with him. And I find if the subtitles are on, I'm just so focused on Matt that I don't, like, appreciate the, like, imagery. Okay. So I would rather just... Okay. Listen and see when I'm looking. Like, I I'm find watching. I miss so much if I don't have subtitles now, maybe because I'm so used to having True. subtitles. Um, but I was watching this video on Box and it was talking about how nowadays we're kind of all like watching things with subtitles. And it's not even because we're losing hearing. It's because of how they're actually mixing like movies because of like the dynamic range. So he talks about how oh. the dynamic range is like the quietest and the loudest sound in a movie or in a show. And it's really, really wide for movies because if you think of like an explosion happening yeah. and then people speaking, you want the explosion to sound really loud compared to like the voices, but you don't want the explosion to be so loud that it like becomes like muffled because okay. like once it reaches a certain like threshold, it becomes really muffled. So it like they talked about how nowadays like people like they're mixing these sounds for movie theaters where like the explosions are loud and like the the, the people are speaking you yeah. can still understand them but at home they're not like adjusting that, yeah. that for like these streaming services or just watching Way things at home work. so the sounds of people speaking is like super low compared to like the rest of the sounds okay. and so he just talks about how that's that's why people are putting, people are subtitles. putting subtitles more often than before mm. i just thought that was interesting because i'm like we listen to everything with subtitles and i just thought that was like an us thing i was like i don't know if i was, was always like let's put subtitles and now I'm used to it which is like kind of annoying no I think a lot of people do and I think yeah. we're kind of like the niche that people that don't <laughs> are like fuck the subtitles like if it's automatically goes on I'm like trying to figure out like how do I turn this shit off like I don't want it yeah yeah, yeah. but anyway yeah it's pretty cool Okay, last thing I want to talk about for social seg is, okay, have you noticed how there's been so many um, songs that have been sped up on TikTok that have become yes. like viral hits of like old songs, like for example, like Miguel, like Sure Thing, yep. or like Ellie Goulding and all of these like other artists, not the original artists, are like speeding up these songs and they're like becoming like new hits, new hits again. Yeah. So artists are starting to like realize this and get ahead of this trend. So now a lot of artists are just speeding up their own songs and releasing like the regular version and the sped up version. Wow. Like for example, I forget um, her name, but she's the girl that sings um, like Baddest of the Mall. Oh, okay. 
What's that? What's S- not that? SZA, though. Not that. No. I, I forget. But anyway, she like sped up the version of her song and it sounds sick. And then there was another one. I think it's SZA. She okay. sped up another one, yeah. one of her own songs I, yeah. as well. Yeah. And it sounds really cool. So I'm like, honestly, it's smart of these artists to just like speed up your own song so you get the credit for it. And and it's funny how it it sounds like a new song when it's sped up. It does. It actually like, like the Miguel one, for example, it was yeah. just like a, it has like a new kind of twist it's to it. a brand new vibe yeah. for sure. Sure. so cool that was really interesting that's super cool yeah okay so that's all social seg um let's talk a little bit of random stuff um okay <laughs> this is also kind of random this is very random actually but you love talking about the older gens these yes. days <laughs> let's talk about the older generation because we were just talking about how richard has, is still using MapQuest. well so sorry guys, richard, sorry off. sorry richard but I, i'm sure there's other people still using MapQuest and definitely. other things um but now we have to add like a second, another layer of technology and mm-hmm. that's AI, like artificial intelligence. And I was just thinking like these older generations, poor people are just like, I mean, like what never a fuck, step ahead. Dude. Like they just learned like finally like computers and smartphones yeah. and now we're adding another layer of like a really deep AI. Layer. Yeah. And it's even hard for like me to understand. Seriously. Like, but this? I mean, we're probably going to get to a point in the next like five to 10 years where AI is going to be part of our normal life. And so it's almost like now they're going to have to learn that whole thing yeah, as well. Yeah, that's so, true. I'm just like thinking about how annoying it must be. To- Dude, you know, it's really interesting. Matt told me this today. So he uses this app called Notion, which okay. is kind of similar to Keep, but it's a bit more like elevated than keep he actually recommended maybe we try it out for oh, our, our, our yeah. pod notes and stuff and now um chat gpt is like already incorporated, in, incorporated into it so okay. you can use it both at the same time that's cool which is pretty crazy yeah and i'm wondering why i wonder why they decided to like link up with notion out of like all possibilities but so now it's like we're going to be downloading these apps later in the future and it's going to be like already compatible with like some sort of chat GPT or like AI kind of technology. That's so, so, so cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. And now the chat GPT recently introduced the, like their premium feature. So you can actually pay because there's oh. always times where you can't even get yeah, on. And like, I'm there's, always not getting on. There's like high capacity times you can't get on and blah, blah, blah. So now I think it's like 20, 30 or $40 a month. You can pay that and then you can use no issue, no issue. And it's faster. And I think it has like more features. So I wonder I've already introduced that. So I wonder how, like, how did they, like what separate entity do they build to make sure that there's no wait times? Like how is this? I think they just segment it off. So it's like that that one is like working off a different server maybe. Okay, and a different like, server. Yeah. Are you going to pay for it if you have to? I think maybe. you guys would. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> You're like fuck Netflix yeah. and chat GPT. Seriously, it's helping me a lot. Like even just like learning with it is really cool. It only has data up until 2021. So that's always something you have to be cognizant of. Like because it doesn't have like most recent data, like it stopped at 2021. But even today I was like trying to learn some economics and instead of like Googling it and trying to like read yeah. online, I was just like asking ChatGPT like basic economic questions and it was giving me answers and it's just so fast to like learn a new topic. Yeah. It's just so much better instead of like wasting my time on Google, finding an article, reading it, still being confused. Like you can literally be like, I wonder if boom. Google will be... Yeah. like surpassed by chat gpt soon i think you think so if you know. think instead of us going to be google working. we're going to be like w dot chat gpt literally True. i don't know we're calling it now we're putting money on it <laughs> i give it five years max seriously um okay something more lighthearted. yeah next time you guys go to AMW and if you get a breakfast sandwich which i know we're all doing on the weekends because AMW's breakfast sandwiches are so elite good. add matzo sauce to it and it's insane. Dude, it's so I love good. the matzo sauce, but I've never mm. done that. Put it on. Oh my gosh. It's so good. Shout out to Matt for being the first one to do it. And we just did it last weekend. I was like, I need to remember to talk about this on the pod because <laughs> it's such a little spicy treat. It's on like your tangy. Sandwich. Um, yeah. Is it like a chipotle? It's kind of like a chipotle sauce, okay. I would say. Yeah, the matzo sauce. Mm. Elevate your life with some of it. Mm. Just get some on the side too for some fries. Maybe. Yeah, and dip it in there. <laughs> yep. Um, also, I want to talk about, because recently on uh, Love Island, they did the recoupling after Casa Amor. So crazy. So crazy. But I was, I don't know about you, but I was so stressed the entire time. Like, if I had my Apple Watch on, my heart rate would have been pumping. Yeah, that that's probably, like, the most crazy episode is that, waiting for them to walk out to see if yes. they're with someone or not. And they definitely, like, strategically yeah. do it. So it's the most obvious ones at the beginning. And then at the end, it's just, like 
crazy. The most craziest things are going to happen. And I like, I literally couldn't even watch some of it. I was like, oh, this is so crazy and so awkward. I know, <gasps> I know. Oh my God. And this one, I felt like Casa Amor, like shit hit the fan. Like people were just leaving their couples. Like, like their long-term like, yeah. I love you couples. Yeah. It was insane. It was crazy. Yeah, I'm stressed. Oh my God. And movie night's coming. I haven't watched it, but movie night's coming. <gasps> Did they show hit. a trailer? Yeah. yeah. <gasps> Movie night, behind, which is the I'm best episode I think of Love Island is oh, the movie night one. Oh my god, did, it's so did good. Did they do a movie night last season? I think I think so. They did. I felt like there was a season where they skipped out on it. Maybe yeah. it was the one before that. Yeah, season I think seven. it was before that. Yeah, I remember watching season seven and there was no movie night, and I was okay. Pissed. Yeah. Um, okay. Another random thing is um, Fazer was talking about some article that he read, and he was saying that. There are certain sports where men don't have an advantage over women. And then he was like, try to guess them. And I was like trying to guess. Ballet. Which... <laughs> Maybe. Well, that wasn't even on it. But um, which like sport do you think that men and women are like fairly equal in? Um, horseback riding. Yes. All equestrian sports. That okay. was the first one. Nice. Yep. Ooh, I yeah, love this I game. Know, I know. I know. I actually said equestrian first as okay. well. So that's funny that we both said that. Um, figure skating. It wasn't on this list, but I feel like probably. Okay. It's something to do. Here, I'll give you a hint. It has to do with like weight and like how women are lighter. Okay. Gymnastics. No. Okay. okay I'll give you another hint. Um, well, this one will give it away. It's okay. I'm just going to say it. Oh, wait. Let me like give me five more seconds to think of something. Something to do with weight. Weight. Um, um, and it's distance. Okay. Oh, running. Running, yes, ultra yeah. marathons, yeah. but not Ooh. just regular marathons, ultra, ultra marathons, over a hundred miles, which is like holy fuck, insane. that's crazy. I could um, hundred miles, not kilometers, guys. And miles. then the last one, there's other ones, but we, he just wrote like the to the top ones. Um, the last one is long distance swimming. Okay, so that's when more than ten miles. Because oh my like, god, well, that's so far. Dude, that's what so the frick? It's so far. So women can go the distance. <laughs> from, Literally. Um, but I just thought that was interesting. I'm like, okay, okay. That question, is really cool. Question sports. Like, where, where, where it's at? Like, Anyone that's a horseback rider, all the girls that I know have the best bums. Oh my god. If I you know. were, I think if you were an equestrian sportist, your <laughs> butt is insane. Your butt, you got a bubble butt. You got a bubble butt. I'm <laughs> very happy for you. <laughs> I really want to go horseback riding. Hannah was like, "I'll bring you guys to my farm and like we can go." That's on my anti bucket list. What? I don't trust horses. Have you ever seen a horse in real in life? Yeah, it, they're so they, they're, big. They're jumpy. Yeah, they're so big, and I just they're like they're too majestic for me. I'm like I'm good. <laughs> Maybe a pony. All right, maybe a little pony going on. For some reason, I think you're like, I would think your spirit animal is a horse. Like, you, I don't know really? why. Really? I don't know why. Maybe because you're long hair and I don't maybe. know. Maybe. I don't know. I ain't fucking with any horse, <laughs> though. Not anytime soon. Okay, <laughs> last little random thing I want to talk about is I came across this article and it was talking about the 10 most handsome male celebrities in the world. Okay. That are ranked by this plastic surgeon named Dr. Julian De Silva. And he uses the golden theory, which has to do with like symmetry and like the way that your face Ooh. is. And I want to give you some of the people that were on his list and okay. I want to get your opinion on them. Okay. Do you want me to start from the bottom or the is top? Paul Rudd on this list because he's it's not? not. Dude. Paul yeah, but he's like in his, I think Rudd. he's too old now. Like I think a young Paul Rudd maybe. Yeah. But yeah, I, I saw Ant Man recently and I'm like, you know what? You are. You are aging a little, a little bit. bit a on little the big bit. screen, I could see it. Okay, okay. Damn okay, it. do you want to start at the bottom or the top? Um, Let's start from the bottom, work our way up. Okay, the bottom one, we both really like this band. Okay. We're Ooh. drinking his tequila right now. <gasps> Dwayne Johnson. Oh, yeah. okay. I think he's sexy. I think he's, yeah, he's not my type, but he's hot. Okay. Like, he's like objectively hot. I think he's a sexy guy. I've <laughs> loved him from the beginning days in WWE so funny to now. Too. Okay, I don't know number nine, so we're going to pass over him. Number eight, George Clooney. Oh, uh, yeah, classic. Classic. George Clooney's on this list and Paul Rudd isn't? I don't know. George Clooney's way more attractive than Paul Rudd. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. <sighs> Damn it. Okay, number seven, Chris Evans. Okay. The Captain America. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. 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 Very basic. Basic. Handsome. Basic yeah. guy. Yeah. Chisel draw. Chisel draw. Yeah. Um, number six, Robert Pattinson. I don't think he's that hot anymore. I it was never a huge yeah. like Robert pa like I know I remember him from Twilight. Like I was never like oh my god he's so hot. Like yeah, I just wasn't me too. There. I'm surprised he's on there because yeah. with the Golden Theory and whatever, I just feel like his lips are kind of small. So I felt like he's like not proportional. I feel like that's why yeah. he was attractive. Is like kind of the dispro 
Porsche. That would yeah. Be, I don't know. Okay, top five. Do you know who this person is for number five? Jude Bellingham. Jude? Oh, um, yeah, I think so. Who I think that? the guy from The Holiday. Jude. Are you thinking Jude Law? Oh no, that's Jude Law. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's a football player. Oh. This guy. Okay, oh. he's pretty hot. Okay. He's cute. Okay. Yeah. He's okay. okay. Four. Harry Styles. Okay. Classic. Okay, number three is my personal favorite, Michael B. Jordan. <gasps> Love. Like, he's so hot. I've been saying he's so handsome. He's for so, so long, hot. Before he was even super famous. I'm yeah. like, Michael B. Yeah, Michael B. Okay, number two, Chris Hemsworth. Yep. I think he's really hot. Do you think he's hotter than Liam? I do. Ugh. He's just like bigger. Yeah, bigger. Stronger. He's the, he's Thor. Yeah, he's Thor. You can't not. Yeah. I don't know. They're both like hot in their own ways. Yeah, they definitely know? are. They're de- probably one of the hottest brothers. Yeah, duos they're so hot. Ever oh my God, they're so good. And then the first one. Who is it? Is Regé Jean Page, who was in... Um, who? <laughs> Regé Jean, he was in... What's the Regé? old the old show? Where, well, that was Bridgerton. Bridgerton. Oh! That guy. Oh. I think he's really beautiful. Yeah, he's really good looking. I just was kind of surprised he was number one. I would have put Michael B. Jordan as number one. He's really good looking, yeah. He, he's, he has a really symmetrical face. Very symmetrical. Very, whoa, very, very symmetrical. Very, like, if I again? took that side of his face and flipped it, oh my God. it would be the Have same. Have you ever done that filter on TikTok? Yeah, it's scary. TikTok? It's I was scary. like, oh my God, I'm not symmetrical, symmetrical <laughs> at all. Like, I'm really not. I thought I was, but I'm yeah. not. Is okay, there anyone, that's cool. Is there anyone not on that list that you're like, that you're like oh, I, I would put them on the top 10 um, most handsome? I think Zac Efron, before he fucked up his face. Right. Yeah. Yes. Before he messed up his face, Zac yep. Efron was really hot. 100%. Yeah. I think he was quite symmetrical as yeah. well. Yeah. Now, no. But before, mm-hmm. he was really I agree. Good. Ashton Kutcher, for me, is hot. I like Ashton he's Kutcher. He's beautiful. I, I agree. I think he's good looking. I 100% But I think that. that list is pretty good. That's um, a solid list, right? That's a solid list. Yeah. I feel like who it's diverse. It? Who, who did this list? It was a doctor? It was um, a plastic surgeon. So his name is Dr. De Silva. Oh. Julian. He's a big big hot shot plastic surgeon okay. and yeah he was doing it all off the golden theory so cool how symmetrical is your face symmetry 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 um okay let's go into some show time okay i watched vanderpump rules and oh, oh my just god just one episode i think i've seen i one. watched two <gasps> i I'm watched behind. Two. don't tell me i won't tell you but this season is gonna be insane yeah, they had to make up for last season dude yeah and i think the the guy who directs it or whatever runs it actually changed the producer or somebody oh changed. really it's, yeah. well, it's filmed very differently I yeah. yeah so it's actually a different person i don't know if they were like involved in the earlier episode like the earlier seasons but yeah mm-hmm. it was actually a different person but yeah it's crazy shit's hitting the fan raquel i feel like is like the main person in this whole she's really found her voice like yeah. she used to be so awkward when she was speaking and now she is just way more well spoken i find and yeah i do find it's centered a lot around her yeah. i will say this scene where like she's going to the bathroom and james is coming out and i'm like that was definitely staged it was so awkward. and There's... she was really drunk at that point yeah like re- and she was work working which okay another thing i have to talk about is i know that this whole show started w- because these guys were serving at sir and blah blah but now they're all rich and famous and like there's no real servers yeah. left except for like raquel and that other and girl Charlie, who doesn't eat pasta really yeah. <laughs> when she's so she does she's never had pasta i was like she's i'm like, done with you yeah she's like i have this theory it just makes everyone fat i'm, I'm like, like okay you're dumb. <laughs> you're, you're dumb you're done you're done um but anyway yeah like i feel it's just funny to me because i'm like these guys are all so rich they probably they make more on like an instagram post than they would like working mm-hmm. a whole week at sir yeah do they even work there when like the cameras aren't there they're just influencers now honestly and like yeah. obviously some of them have their own restaurants and their own like lala had her own makeup line for a bit like Lala is like crazy. Like her life is just nuts. I feel like she's gonna write. Did she write a book? I don't know. I feel no, like she probably sh- will. She will like write a book about, about the about whole Randall, Randall <gasps> situation. Dude, that guy's gonna be in a lot of trouble. Mm-mm. Fifty Cent was right. <laughs> Fifty Cent is always right. Fifty Cent, like he was yeah. like, we don't like this guy, and yeah. Oh, yeah, it's insane. I'm like excited for this whole season. And she actually like Raquel recently posted a picture of like her and Tom at Tom Toms. And then also, did you see? I don't know how much of these characters that you follow, but do you follow like Katie? Like, uh, yeah, you follow Katie. Did yeah. you see her put all of those text messages on blast? Yeah, her and Sheena. That was really awkward. That was so awkward that she deleted them shortly after. <laughs> So, I don't know about that one. It's just Drama. awkward because I feel you're like, like they all hate each other, but then they have to, like, be civil with each other yeah. for the show. And it's show. like, you're all in your, like, you're well into your 30s now. Like, I'd be tired. Come on. Like, I'd that be must tired. be exhausting. Like, I'm trying to go to bed at, like, 9 p.m. Like, yeah. no drama. 
Mm-mm. No, we're no, good. Thank you. No, thank you. I feel like <laughs> Sheena has the most normal life now, which is insane. Weird. Which yeah. is weird because she was always like the crazy one. But now yeah. I'm like, you have a partner, you have a baby. It seems like you have it kind of yeah, figured out compared stable. to the rest of them. You 100%. know? Anyway, I'm excited to keep watching. So we'll keep you guys updated. Um, yeah. Let's talk about Last of Us. <gasps> if you're not watching Last of Us, what are you doing? You need what to watch it. It's go stop listening great. in the pod right now. I give you permission and yeah. go and watch Daddy Joel oh, because oh, we love Daddy we Joel. Do. We love him. Let's so put him much. on that list. Yeah. Um. So this show is so good that Matt and I are all caught up and we started rewatching it, which is, is so out of character for us. We never <laughs> rewatch stuff, but you miss so many tiny little details, and yeah, this like at the next episode, like. Do you know what's happening next episode? What do you mean? Like, like do you ever do you watch trailers for? No, the I don't. I don't okay. watch any trailers. We do. Okay. Um, it doesn't spoil anything about okay. what the next episode is, but it's it's a, it's a flashback episode. <gasps> cool. I love flashbacks. Yeah, it's a flashback episode. So I'm like, are we gonna find out what the fuck happens? Or yeah. Not? yeah oh, this is just it's insane and i just love the two main characters so much um bella, bella ramsey she does such Pedro. a good job she's actually Dude, like she's 19 british. she's what she's british she's a like a british accent yeah in real life she's british she's english what? i yeah. did not know that mm-hmm. um but she plays a 14 year old but she's 19 and she plays this character so well and it's yeah. like she brings humor to the show it She's just yeah. amazing. She's so good. She's really badass, but at the same time, you like empathize with her and just like care about her a lot, like a lot. At least I do. Yeah, me too. And I just feel like the bond that her and Joel have made, like it's truly like a father daughter bond. It's and I feel so like amazing. They just need to like beat this whole thing together. They yeah. need to fucking find a cure to fucking zombies. It's crazy. Oh, you know what I heard as well? Matt told me a fun fact. So I don't know if you ever noticed, but they never use the word zombie like on the show. No, like, never. On set, they're not allowed to say the Z word because they don't want the show to be about zombies. zombies. It's, it's more, more like, like realistic. Like character development is so much deeper than that. So like they always only say like the infected. The infected. Never, you never hear the word zombie in the whole show. No, never. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, there's a lot of like hidden little clues in the show oh, so re-watching highly recommend it? go watch it what and then treat. rewatch it when you're done yeah because. we're rewatching it and then we're about to watch episode three again so i need to get my fucking <laughs> kleenex box ready to go Holy i know shit. i saw like big send a snap or like a tiktok star and it was like La- it was like last year around this time or whatever and it was um it was <laughs> white, white lotus. lotus it was on sundays hbo sundays was white lotus and we we're like doing the dance like lo, 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 lo. and <laughs> now and now it's like <laughs> like crying. crying over the you know, uh, zombie every show every week it's like oh my god who's gonna die today <laughs> like, literally oh ugh, it's crazy it's too much Love it's crazy it. can't wait um another thing i ran it like we watched a random movie so you know yeah. like, you had those movies growing up you actually like own the dvd or the vhs yeah. and so you kind of like hold this bond to those movies because you've watched them like millions of times 100 so one of those movies was country strong for me <laughs> which is so out of character That's for so me random. because i i don't like like i'm not a country music gal but this movie is so good and the like songs are all so good tim mcgraw is actually in the movie and yeah she, and gwyneth paltrow and it's just a really i don't know if i've Meister. ever seen it oh yeah she, oh no i've definitely she becomes famous right yeah it's really yes. good so oh, wait and gwyneth is like a it's like she she's an alcoholic yes, yes. i've seen that yeah okay so but like the soundtrack for this movie is so good i know like every song it's just you're a I, country girl and we were watching it, and i was like oh my god you literally know every song and he's like is this one of those singing movies <laughs> <laughs> is this a musical oh my god he's like, like oh musical? another song i'm like they're so good don't skip that's it and i'm like hilarious. singing and like just have such a bond and he's like this movie's okay <laughs> he's just that's so funny is that good for but. me those movies would definitely be blue crush <gasps> oh yes i feel like i always had that on dvd always yep. watch blue crush and then also blue like crush. coyote ugly okay i don't remember that one <gasps> you know Oh Wait. my god, we're having a girl's night and watching Coyote Ugly. I don't think I've seen that one. Oh Wait. my god, are you serious? It's yeah. iconic. It's like a definitely a 90s movie. Okay, I don't think I've seen it. Oh my god, it's about this girl that moves, I don't know if it's to New York or she moves somewhere to become like a singer and she works at this bar. Oh my god, it's this girl too. I love her. Yeah, you've never <gasps> seen that? No, okay, never seen it. Wait, I, is that Tyra Banks, yes. isn't it? Oh my god, Our I'm watching this. girl's night and we're going to invite the other girls if it, 
anyone can come and watch this, we need to watch this. And I've Haley's basement it. with her amazing TV. Oh my god! Up. Oh my god! I'm so excited. Yes. Okay, we're watching it. I love little throwback, like nostalgic. You know, we, just, we talked about this like last pod where it's like your partner, but in this case, your bestie. Like you haven't watched the thing that I love. And you're just, you're I just can't looking be watching their, you the whole you're time. You're just watching like, their reaction, just like. Do oh you my like god, it? Look at this. Look oh at this. my god! I can't wait for so that. So fun. Oh, I love it. Love it. Love it. That's gonna be so good. Okay, can we make some predictions for Love Island? Yes. We talked about Casa more just happened um who do you think is gonna survive who's gonna be out like okay i need olivia and kai to both be gone at this point i'm done with olivia kai's boring me they're both boring bye bye um i think lana and ron are gonna make it to the finale Mm -hmm. they i think they might win jesse and will finale finale i think it's gonna be between jesse and will and lana and and um, And ron uh, Ron to win okay i think tanya and um shack are gonna make it but she's annoying yeah she's i don't know she's She's kind kind of annoying yeah i feel bad for him so she i think they might make it to like the end as well Um, i kind of hope someone comes in and like turns shack's head me too I feel like he deserves better than that. Yeah. And she kind of dragged it along really, like, far. She she could have cut it off with Martin. Like, he was like, hey, you feel distant, blah, blah, blah. But she just kind of kept it I know. going. She, I feel like she's just a mega people pleaser. Yes. And she has, like, no balls. Yes, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Also, so, I feel bad for Martin. Me too. Like, I think he actually really liked her. And he's, that speech she gave in front of everyone, that was so like, awkward. A speed bump? No. Oh, no that was awkward. Tom and, and uh, Sammy? Sammy. Yeah, I think the... The he just is, wrote her that nice note. I think they'll make it far. I just feel like Sammy obviously takes a lot for her to open up. So I yeah. just don't know kind of how boring. far they're going to get. They need more challenges. Yeah. They yeah. need the movie night to happen. I think shit's going to hit the fan. I think that's going to cause a bit of turmoil for Lana and Ron. Because I think they're going to show the clip of him being like, play us or whatever he said yes. before. And just being like, oh, I'm not wifed up. I'm not wifed up. So I think that's going to... Yes. Cause some drama, 100%. which I want. So I, I need more drama. And more bombshells. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I but. feel like there hasn't been a lot of bombshells. Yeah. Like, they're definitely usually, after Casa and More, there's, like, quite a bit of bombshells coming in. So. Yeah. There should be one soon. I, yeah, I hope, I like Lana and Ron. I hope they, like. I think they're going to win. I think they're going to win, too. Yeah. And then I hope you guys stay together for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because everyone from last season broke up. Oh, Except I know. For Davide and Ekansu. But I feel like for at this point, it's a... It's a it's for... Su- yeah. It's a PR It's stunt. literally signing their paychecks at this yeah, point. The fact they have that like a together. show. They can't break up. They like, cannot break literally, up. Literally, so... PR, PR, PR. PR. Okay, let's go into some full send because you just told yes. me that Blues Fest lineup is out and oh I gosh. had no idea. Shout out to Maddie Hattie and her story today. She posted the Blues Fest lineup and I'm pretty excited for it. So... Some of the ones that I'm most excited for, um, the 16 year old me is really excited for Billy Talent. <gasps> Billy Talent. I've seen them live. Oh and my god, really? Yeah, I went yeah. to Rockfest when Ooh. like 10 years ago, and they're so dope live. And they're playing the same day as Weezer. Which Weezer, I think really Holiday fun. in the Sun. Let's yes, go. Yes, Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills. Um, Ludacris and Ludacris. Pitbull. Ludacris. I fucking love Ludacris. I've seen Pitbull live. <laughs> I heard he was pretty good live. He's actually like. Honestly, guys, like one of the best concerts I've seen because yeah. he has so much energy. 100%. And you know every single song because it's yeah, like always a top everything. 40. Yeah. And like he's featured in everything. And I saw him, I think, in 2010 or 11. So he was literally in everything. Oh, in his prime. In his back prime. Back yeah. Yes. Um, Death Cab for Cutie. Love. I'm so shocked that you know them. I was literally obsessed with them for, <gasps> in like grade eight. Should we go see them together? Yeah, literally. Just we'll like, just wear our chokers and yes, like black I got eyeliner. them for the 90s party. They were yeah. little party gifts. <laughs> literally, I took like three chokers. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Mumford, Mumford and Sons, who yes. I've seen live, so good. They're really good. <gasps> okay, so I need to go to Blues Fest. I feel like I never go because I'm kind of like, oh. I know. They always have like one good person and then they don't really have anyone else. Kind yeah, of like, you know what I mean? Last year was kind of whatever yeah also another big name is foo fighters which is i think that's huge i definitely want to see them so there's definitely a couple days i want to go last year one of my biggest regrets was that i didn't see ja rule i know we were trying but we were so like like dusted from from hope volleyball volleyball, and it was just 
one of yeah. the biggest regrets of my life is not seeing <laughs> Ja Rule, man. Like, he'll come back. Uh, he'll come back for us. Don't worry. So I'm also sad because I won't be able to see Ludacris either because I have a, I have something that weekend, which is super sad. So if someone goes to Ludacris, send me like, all your videos. Videos. And like, ugh, like I wanted you. to see him so bad before finding out he was <laughs> so random. Before he was coming to Blues Fest, like Matt and I were looking up like his touring dates and we almost were going to buy tickets to see him and Janet Jackson. <laughs> but it was way too expensive. And we're like, man, he's probably just opening for her. Like, it's and not like worth it has it. like one or two songs, but this he is going like to be a whole 10 thing. or 12 songs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's so many good. Ludacris at the gym, you guys. Dude, Ludacris is so good. So oh good. my God. Yeah. Luda. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen me rapping Ludacris? No, no you, you didn't. didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're one of those people you just don't e- expect that all of a sudden we'll just be chilling and then like a rap song will come on and Tash will know every single yeah. word. Like, no, you know when you know like parts of a song, you'll know, just like say, <laughs> no, Tash will know every single word. And it's I'm my like, my party trick. Oh my God. It is and my party She's just trick. like a teacher and a rapper and a, <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing tonight? I didn't know that on my resume yeah literally i love a good rap battle <laughs> come at me she will literally kill you guys in a rap battle kindergarten teachers also really good at rhyming so yeah that's why i'm so good that's at why. it that's why that's why yeah okay yeah. so we're going to blues fest catch us there in the summer 100 let's go yeah it's gonna be good Okay, okay, let's, let's go. Do health, health and well, we don't have any tableau talks. People yeah. are just. I feel like the Kardashians haven't been in like the news lately, or yeah, any tabloids. And I'm like, what are they stirring up? Like yeah. they're they're what planning they something. Chris yeah, is planning. very busy. Yeah. Um, I wrote this a little while ago when we were sick, and I just wanted to talk about how nature can be so healing. Oh, so healing. Whether I'm hungover or just actually ill, I find whenever we go for a walk with Stark and we live thankfully by a green space, which is nice any time of the year, whether it's winter, spring, summer, fall, just being outside, I find makes me feel so much better. Just being outside in the woods or being fresh like air, fresh air, like crisp air. Honestly, it's the, it's the best. Mm-hmm. Like if you're in a bad mood or you're having a bad day, just go out for a walk. Just go. Just go for a yeah. walk. Don't you it's have to have a spot, like a destination, journey before destination just goes out for a walk just having the actual sun like hit your skin even if it's just like your eyes because yeah. it's so cold right now <laughs> just know. having it hit your skin just it hits different it literally. does it's so so true so, so if you're so, having so a bad day you're not feeling well just go outside nature yeah. is healing nature's healing and another thing that's healing is rest days like yeah. take your rest days take your days off and i read somewhere the other day and it was saying how if you're taking a rest day, but the entire day you're feeling guilty about not getting your work done, yeah. then that's actually worse than just doing the work. Yeah, because you're you giving yourself I mean? so much stress so and anxiety. It's, yeah, it's actually worse yeah. for your brain to be taking a rest day and then being anxious and guilty about not doing the work than just like doing the work or yeah. just taking a rest day. So don't do that. It's not resting. And then you're just going to go back and you're not going to feel rested. You're going to go back to work and not feel rested. And yeah, so just don't do that. If you're going to take a rest day, just don't think about it. Just take the rest day. Yeah. Your body will thank you later. Your mind will thank you later. I feel like it took me a long time to come to terms with that. Like yes. I was that kind of person. Like I, I was like that when I'm sick. It. Like we're both like that when we're sick. Because we're just busy people. We're just like, oh, we're feeling bad. Like we should be doing work. But like yeah. you, you just can't. Otherwise your body's just not going to get better. And I feel like that's why our sickness also stay for yeah, so long. Yeah, probably. I'm still feeling a little sick. But yeah, I would say I'm like at 90%. Yeah, health right now. I know. We're going away this weekend. We're like not drinking. We're going skiing. So I feel like that will be That's nice. really good for my soul. I'll be out in nature, in the nature. slopes. In the slopes. I'm going to be in the slopes and I'm going to come back feeling so rested. Oh, love it. Yeah. What is fubbing? Oh, my God. Okay, <laughs> guys. Wait, is that a typo? Nope. P H U B B I N G fubbing. Fubbing. Phone snubbing. <gasps> so fubbing was termed in 2012 in Australia. And it essentially describes when you're having a conversation with someone and they literally just like are on their phone scrolling or they're not oh, paying attention I don't like to that. you. Yeah, that's rude. And it was just, they did a bunch of studies showing that like people who are fubbing and we're all guilty of it. We've yeah, all done it at one point or another not, sure. where like you, someone's having a conversation, you just like are on your phone or something and just talked about how like, Social intelligence is obviously low and also it, it impacts the other person so much more than you think yeah. because they're just like, I'm not important enough. They're not listening to me. And so I think we should all just be a little bit more aware of fubbing and just like don't 
Like yeah. if you're having a conversation with someone, maybe even just say, hey, I have to check my phone yeah. for I'm a second. Yeah, just checking this and then I so have they have my attention. So that they don't think you're yeah. like doing it as a like a way of just like disrespect. Like you're actually like, oh, I have to answer this. Just give me a second. Kind 100%. Of yeah. I do think though, opposite end of that spectrum, I find mm-hmm. sometimes in the work setting, I'll be on my laptop like doing yeah. work and someone will come in and start talking to me. And want to like start a conversation. And I feel that social intelligence falls in the other person because yes. if someone is like clearly like doing work, I don't think it's fair to just come up with them and start like unloading and talking. It should be like, hey, yeah. like, do you have five minutes? And I'll be like, no, I'm actually in the middle of something. Or I'll be like, yeah, like I need a break. And I feel like it's not on you if someone comes up to you while you're in the middle of mm. something, whether you're doing work on your phone or on your computer. I feel like that has to go both ways as well. So it's like the opposite of fubbing. It's like phone interruption. <laughs> yeah. But even Fibbing. if I'm more like on a, on like on my computer, computer sometimes. So like work interruption yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, because sometimes like yeah. the only place I can go to do work is the staff room because obviously my classroom is really busy and sometimes usually the library is busy. And I feel like because it's like, a staff from more of a social environment i feel like people are more likely to like talk to you even when i'm doing work but sometimes it's like yo i'm like my laptop is open my eyes are on my laptop like yeah i'm in work mode i'm in work mode and i don't want to feel like i have to engage your conversation if i'm busy i know i know honestly that i'm thankful that i only work with like my husband's down there because he does that sometimes (laughs) he'll like walk in and start talking i'm like like come back because like, yeah. I'm in a thought and I'm like writing it and if you're you get interrupted 100%. you literally lose your train of thought and I definitely you, do that to Matt all the time yeah. so I'm like <laughs> thank god I can be rude to you because you're my husband but I can't imagine like just being like oh sorry get like uh, yeah you know? so it yeah. goes both it ways it but goes I do both agree ways. I think both sides both parties need to be more cognizant 100% 100%, 100%. <laughs> yeah that's amazing i'm um, speaking of my work yeah. something that is so nice to have and every workplace should have this is we have a massage chair in the staff room that is every workplace needs to have a massage chair yeah. like it should be in like a rule book somewhere like we got them in the middle of covid randomly so people weren't really using them the last two years but now that obviously the rules are a bit more lifted People are like fighting over getting their like 10 minutes in this massage chair because it literally locks you in. Like you can put your <gasps> arms in, your legs, it like it's like a fat, full it's a body. Full 10 minute <sighs> body experience. And it definitely makes my, I look forward to my 10 minutes in the massage chair every day. It definitely is a highlight and it definitely makes me feel just, I go back to my classroom kind of like, oh, <sighs> I'm like, good. Like, I'm good. Sorry, yeah. What do you need? No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I definitely have that, but. <laughs> everyone should have a massage chair everyone should have a massage chair oh i want a massage chair in my house oh my god i wonder how much that costs i just have like one of those massage gun things oh that's dope too yeah those Those are are also quite expensive yeah i wonder what the difference is from that to a chair yeah it's probably a lot it's probably a lot yeah um Okay, another thing I want to just quickly chat about is I finally made myself a Goodreads account. I just like hadn't oh, had one. Do you have one? I don't know what that is. Okay, Goodreads. <laughs> okay, everyone needs to get I on Goodreads. I guess it. So Goodreads, is, it's pretty much like a Google review or like an IMDb for book. books. Okay. So it literally, you create an account and you don't need to create an account to like go on the website, but you create an account and you put which books you've read and you rate them. Yeah. And then it gives you Re- recommendations based on that. That's what it was. Okay. And then also it just like, you can go on a book, you can search it and, and it gives a rating like a five out of five. Um, and then you can read comments about it and stuff. And sometimes I don't read the comments cause sometimes I'll have spoilers, Rude. but don't do that. It's just nice to see like what the rating was out of five and also like what recommendations the Goodreads gives you based say, on the books. So how have your recos been? Really good so far. So I have like a couple that it recommended that I already actually was like planning on reading. Okay, that's good. So that, sh- that shows yeah. that it's working quite well. It's working really well. What are you reading right now? I'm reading It Starts With Us, Almost Done That. Okay. Um, I'm reading Psychology of Money, which is like... Ooh. So I have my Kindle. So... Yeah. Um, sorry, I finished It Starts With Us. What am I saying? I finished it. Uh-huh. Um, I have my Kindle, so it has like a bunch of books in it. So I'll like, depending on my yeah, mood, and your I'll mood. like... That's what I like about Kindle. Um, mm-hmm. I'm reading that Verity book. Okay. By Colleen Hoover. I heard it's really good. It's really good so far. Okay. I'm like not that deep into it. I think I've like read four or five chapters, but... So far, it's really good. Ooh. But yeah, no, it's it's nice to just like have the recommendations. Um, so yeah, create a Goodreads account. And that way you can also track what you've read, which is nice. Because yeah. I always forgot. Like right now, I just forgot. I'm like, what am I reading? Oh, yeah. 
It's like yeah. you forget. You read so many random books and then you're like, wait, did I finish that? Did I get like... It's true. I'm so. on my on track for my goal right now for at least one book a month. Yeah. I read one book last month. I'm yeah, almost on my book for this month. Um, so I'm stoked. Yeah. I'm proud of myself. Woo. I'm reading It Ends With Us and I'm obsessed. It's so good. And then... So it starts with us. I heard it's kind of drags it out. I didn't love it as much. Like I, I thought it was still good. I read it and I was like enjoying it, but it ends with us was just so different. Yeah. Like I would I give. I think I'm gonna read other books before I read yeah. it. It starts with us. Yeah. For so sure. that was like I would give that one a five. Like I just thought it was five so, out of five. It was so good. Ooh, what would five. you give Evelyn Hugo? I would also give that one yeah, a five. That was so good. <laughs> I would also give that one a five. Holy that shit. one was so I, good. That needs but to I'm a also, movie ASAP. I feel like I'm so like I'm like that's a five. That, you get a five. You get a five. It starts with us. I would say I would give it a three point five. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. you're not just giving a five. No. You're a tough yeah. critic. So we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Do you want to talk also? Oh. oh. Want to do a BMK? Yeah. Let's okay. Oh. Let's do a BMK. BMK. Perfect BMK. timing. Okay. I have a good one for you. Okay. Okay. Bang. Mary. Kill. Breakfast. Lunch. Dinner. <gasps> Okay, this one's yeah. tough. Okay, I think that is I, tough. It is really tough, but I think I'm just gonna go with what I like like to eat. Okay, so I'm gonna marry dinner. Okay, because I just love going out to dinner. Mm-hmm. I think dinner is just fun, and dinner food is just so yummy. So I'm gonna marry dinner. I'm gonna bang breakfast because okay. I love a good like brunch. I love breakfast foods. I'm gonna kill lunch because lunch and dinner is kind of the same. Like I'm just mm. like I can skip lunch. I feel lunch like is kind lunch. Of whatever. Lunch is a dollar store version of dinner. It's yes. like smaller portion, not as much effort. Yeah. Like sometimes it's just a salad. I don't yeah. want it. I 100 percent agree with you for yeah. all three. Not yeah. shocked. Dinner is absolutely the best. So, so comforting. Good. Breakfast. Oh. Breakfast food is just yummy. Mm, it's just you know, good. probably like, putting bang hot it. sauce all over that too. It's yeah. so spicy. Some matzo sauce. Let's oh, go. Oh, oh. exactly. <laughs> okay, so let us know what you guys would do. Yeah. Bang, Mary Kill, breakfast, bang, dinner. Bang. Obviously, you're the same brain. We did the same fucking thing. Yeah, we didn't even talk Not about it. Not surprised. Not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay hope guys. you guys have a good Saturday. Good Saturday. And get lit. Get a limo to the Sims game <laughs> or wherever you want to go. Have a mosa, You know, treat yourself and take yeah. a rest day. Take a rest day. Take a rest day on Sunday. Get outside. (laughs) Love you guys. Love you. Bye. Bye.